Hey Saints, I'm Jacob Tatley. And I'm Eric Quickman. And this is the last episode of SFHS Today. In national news, last Tuesday there was a school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, with 21 confirmed deaths, and the shooter's name was Salvador Ramos, an 18-year-old who also killed his grandmother before shooting up the elementary school. That day was also supposed to be the last day of school for the students. We please ask for a moment of silence for the victims of the shooting. In school news, for the next year's class presidents were selected, the class of 2025 being Sophie Edwards. The class of 2024's president is Fatih Yang. And the class of 2023's presidents are Anna Hader and Kylie Dustman. In other school news, with this being the last week of school, and seniors graduating, that means that the class of 2023 will be the top dogs in the high school. We went out and asked them how they feel becoming seniors. Are you excited to become a senior? Why or why not? Uh, yes, because it's my last year of high school. Are you excited to become a senior next year? Why or why not? Uh, I guess so. Because uh, it's in high school. So, beginning of like a new chapter. So, excited for what's coming up. Are you excited to become seniors next year? Why or why not? I am super excited because I'm excited to finally be the top dogs of the school. I'm very excited for senior year of soccer. Let's head over to sports. Hey, hey, Saints, I'm Brody Wyant. And I'm Nick Coop. And this, this is sports. In national sports news, the NFL is considering eliminating the annual Pro Bowl game due to lack of viewership. The NFL has recognized that it's important to honor the players, but are looking for a different way to do it. In state sports news, a push to legalize sports betting in Minnesota failed to pass in the legislature before the session ended, despite bipartisan support in the House and Senate. In school sports news, baseball had two hard-fought games last week and will be hitting the mound again tonight. Last Wednesday was scholarship and award night at the high school, and one award that was given out was Coach of the Year. We went to talk to the coach that received this award, Coach Joan Johnson. How does it feel to win Coach of the Year last Wednesday? Um, it's a great honor. It's, it shows a lot about um, the this, this season and how well it went, um, being the CPA champions for the second year of the, in a row, um, making it to the section finals and winning, and going to to the state tournament for the first time in sport history. What are you and your team doing to prepare for next year's season? Um, well, most of the girls are doing training all year long. So starting last November, they're already on club teams, um, working out, training, lifting, working, up, working hard to be ready for next year. So they're constantly in training for soccer. Track had their Mississippi 8 conference meet at home last Thursday and will continue on to sections this week. Softball will also continue section play, and baseball will start section play this week. That's all we have for you this week. Now back to Tatley and Eric in the studio. With this being the last show of the year, Nick, Brody, Tatley, and I broke it down to what it's like to put a show together each week. What's it like putting on a show with four people? Uh, well, you know, it's definitely different and a little more difficult than uh, previous classes where, you know, we had... 20 to four, uh, even 40 people in our classes. Um, but you know, we're doing what we have to do and we're getting the work done that we need to do. What's it like putting on a show with four people? Uh, it's definitely different uh, in the classes, you know, a lot more people, so it makes it harder, but we got it done and uh, you know, keeping Eric on track every week is definitely a task as well, so. But we made it through, got a show out every week and we did what we could. I would be kidding you if I didn't say it was a struggle. It's a struggle with four people uh, when you're a t one tenth of the size of a regular class there's going to be definite struggles but uh, we put out the best shows we possibly could each week we thought of good story ideas it was just a good chemistry between all four of us we're great friends and great uh, working people together so it was a good time and I hope uh, media goes well next year for the new people 
What's it like putting on a show with four people? Um, definitely highs and lows, uh, like productivity wise. Uh, there's good shows and bad shows in our opinion. Um, but yeah, overall it was good. I really enjoyed this class. It was probably the most fun I've had in a class all of high school. Uh, it was very different than any class I've ever been in and it was, it was good. I enjoyed it. On a weekly basis, what do you do? Uh, well, for the main part, I am the sports anchor, but other than that, I cover the sports and activities that are going around, you know, the fun things like the RQTs and the Athlete of the Weeks. But, you know, at the end of the week, we all come together and we all do the same thing and we put the show together and we make it work. What do you do on a weekly basis? Um, well, mainly I'm the sports anchor with Eric and I, I love anchoring with Eric and I, I always write the script for the sports anchor and uh, I always help out with all the packages that Nick and Tantley are doing if they need and just do what we need to do to get the show out in time. So me personally, I'm one of the main anchors here at SFHS today and I type the main script. Uh, I usually work on packages, brainstorm with all my buddies and really just try and get the show rolling and have Tatley ready for Saturday when he does a great job editing. Um, I anchor with Miss Lemke's cousin on a weekly basis. I also usually edit the show um, and I usually put the team on my back each week. Um, I like to consider it and uh, we usually put out a good show. What's your favorite memory from media? Um, definitely all the bloopers. Um, you know, most of them are of me every time I mess up, which is quite a bit. But uh, the bloopers are definitely the favorite memory because you just get to look back and just figure out how many times you messed up and get a lot, nice little laugh out of it all. Juan, what's your favorite memory from media? Uh, my favorite memory is definitely anchoring. It was always my favorite part and it was nice to be able to do it basically every week for third try, especially with Eric. He's my second favorite anchor and then I even got to do it with my favorite anchor a few weeks ago, Lauren Perry. My favorite memory probably is just the anchoring this uh, past trimester. It's always been a unique experience. I'm not always with Tatley. Sometimes I went with sports with Brody. And just being able to think about what's happening in the world and how we can report that in the best possible way. What's your favorite memory from media? Um, probably just the feeling of completing a show each week uh, when I upload it up to YouTube and I text Ms. Moats up and then she looks at it and then um, just being able to watch it the next day at the same time. That's all we have for you this year. Stay safe on your new adventure, Saints. Vanessa has hosted a gymnast meet. Gymnastics! They are gymnasts. They are not performing gymnasts. <laughs> Shut up. Hey. That's all we have for you this week. Stay, Stay safe, Saints. Grace! <laughs> it's not that funny. It's not that funny. And uh, we usually put out a good show. Ha ha ha!